Hi there, this is Eric, and um, got two figs ripe tonight that probably will pre be pretty good and uh, of a particular note for us here in the Willamette Valley. This is no head start, uh, no greenhouse, no, no anything. My tree's in a 20 gallon pot. I also have this variety in the ground. This one's called Green Michurinska. And uh, August, or excuse me, September 8th, we have ripe figs. Um, this is one of my favorite varieties. It's, it's right up there with Detrasis Blades uh, in terms of flavor for me. These are excellent figs. 100% um, can be grown in the ground here in the Willamette Valley. Mm. Very, very rich berry flavor. Um, very good seed crunch, tangy, um, not overpoweringly sweet, not, not cloyingly sweet. Excellent fig. I wouldn't call it a, an Adriatic type necessarily. Uh, you know, like your, you know, Adriatic JH or Green Ischia. They're they're not the same fig. This is a different fig altogether. Um, Green Ischia is also extremely good. Um, that's that's one of a small handful of Adriatic type figs that I I have kept. Very similar to. Texas Strawberry Unknown, um, Bataglia Green, uh, several of them out there. Uh, I chose to keep um, Green Ischia because it was the biggest, the, the biggest pot. That's all. Uh, but this one is a different variety altogether. It's lighter in color on the inside. It's got a very rich, dense flavor. Um, a little bit of a mixed berry jam flavor with a fair amount of seed crunch and just overall wonderful variety. Um, and it's very early. It's ripening along now with, uh, it's actually earlier than my Mount Etna's this year. Uh, it's ripening right along with Detrasis plates. So, um, absolutely worth it. All right. So Green Michuranska, look that one up if you uh, don't have that one yet here in the Willamette Valley, and uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks.